YouTube. Been a minute or two. Hope everyone's doing well today. This is the Ugly Prepper. I'm bringing you uh, today's haul from back up here uh, so I don't get too close. Anyhow, this is today's haul. This is the prepper haul. We bought groceries today. Uh, we bought way more than this. Uh, but this is what we bought specifically for prepping. Um, here we have, trying to get my hand out here. We got granulated sugar. We got some all purpose flour, a small thing. These were small things there. Got some, uh, did some prepping for my, for my boys, canned dog food, can't forget her pets. I looked for the four pound spaghetti, could not find it, it was sold out, so I got the two pound. Um, let's see here, we got the morning coffee blend, this is one of my barter items, I prepped this for barter. Uh, this will be vacuum sealed, okay. We have egg noodles. All right. We got three flats of tea light candles. I don't know if y'all can see all that. We got some cotton twine. Cotton twine. Like a dollar twelve. Very useful in candle making and other things. Just couldn't pass it up. All right, we got uh, a small bag of rice. This will be vacuum sealed, of course. And we bought some more uh, Nor, but what you call them, bouillon cubes. Uh, always buy those to go in the rice and make it taste better. Um, we got some of the open and eat. We got some three of the pulled pork. We got two of the white chicken. We got, uh, these were, I think these were like 86 cents a piece. They might have been cheaper than that. But we got the buttery uh, mashed potatoes. We got four of those. We got two barbecue sauces. All right. We got uh, some gravy mix. I actually bought four of those. There's only two on this table because two went into regular rotation pantry. Uh, we got... I bought two of these um, right here. I bought two of these, but only one goes in the prepper pantry. Bought some grits for the prepper pantry. Uh, some more non-fat dry powdered milk to be to be vacuum sealed. Some corned beef for my canned meats. I've got a milk crate going that I'm filling up with canned meats. I got two of the traditional pasta sauces back there on the back row. My lighting is not doing good. Maybe it's because I'm standing in it. Anyhow, we got one mountain house meal to go into my mountain house preps. I uh, started out buying two or three of those at a time, but now I'm up to the point where I only need to buy one when I go. Um... And okay, uh, we're buying some preps for the shed, some preps for the toolboxes and that type of stuff. Here we have uh, the little electronics, the little doodads you need to, when you're fixing wiring, the splicers, the connectors, the eyelets. Bought a pack of those. Okay, we have... We have a bag of washers. All right. You have to think about this kind of stuff. Some bigger washers. Okay, we have some brackets, L brackets with screws. And we have a box of uh, big nails there. We have eight inch cable ties. These things, these cable ties are handy for a lot of stuff. We bought us another can of rim oil and I was looking for a big can of WD-40. They did not have any at my particular store, but 
uh, I found a small one up there by the register, so I grabbed it. These are, uh, or no, let me forget, I did not need toilet paper, but uh, when you have the opportunity to buy toilet paper, buy it. So, you know, I've got toilet paper prepped to the maximum, but that's one thing every time I go to the store, I will buy toilet paper. So, uh, there are certain items that every time I go to the store, I buy one of each item. Whether I need it or not, toilet paper is one of those items for me. Nobody wants to run out of toilet paper, y'all. Okay, so anyway, uh, these are the items I bought specifically for prepping. Uh, let you look over them there. Not, you know, you can't do a whole bunch at a time. Or I can anyway, but uh, you do what you can when you can. And uh, I've been, uh, I think it's been a week or two since I've done a video. Let me see if I can find a place to prop you all up here. Anyway, it's been a week or two since I've done a video. Uh, we've been dodging tornadoes, dealing with power outages, and bass fishing. Yeah, been doing some springtime bass fishing. Uh, Honda Manufacturing of Alabama is a place where one of my buddies work, and they had a shortage on microprocessors or some kind of switch or anyway it may have been due to that Suez Canal thing but they uh, they had to lay people off because they didn't have parts to make the cars with so me and him we went and did some bass fishing in the daytime and then we did some catfishing at night so uh, that was fun been doing some bass fishing uh, on my own down here at the pond uh, where I live so anyway I uh, wanted to check in I hope everyone is doing great be kind. Uh, happy Resurrection Week. Happy Resurrection Day. That's about two days away. So uh, this, that's it. That's all I got for this week. Uh, this is Eric the Prepper. Hope y'all have a blessed day.